Hi everyone, I'm Matt. I'm David. And we're two nerdy idiots who are mixing it up a little bit today. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be playing a game called The Last Door, which is a game I played a little bit of, because uh, there's two chapters, essentially two episodes, or seasons. I played season one. I don't remember much of it because I played it like three or four years ago. And then season two, which I never played, but it's a cool little like pixelated horror game. Um, more like mystery, like Eldritch, Edgar Allan Poe, like it's like Lovecraft meets Edgar Allan Poe. Um, and I wanted, I've been wanting David to play it, especially because one of the other games we want to play is, uh, uh, Blasphemous. And Blasphemous, the developers of that game made this first. All right. So this is their, one of their earlier titles. So that's why when we were like, let's play Blasphemous, I was like, well, you got to play The Last Door first. So here we are. Um, are the screen options good? Oh, I guess it's just the TV, because it's fine up here. Yeah, because uh, it's hmm. really... Hmm. Uh, closed captions, turn that on. For, uh, subtitles. I've never seen this before. Dyslexia-friendly fonts. I've never seen that before either. That is not a common option. No, but I like that it's there. Yeah. All right. Well, right. let's jump into season one. If I recall, this isn't a long game. It's a few hours oh. for each season. That's right. I still gotta hit it again. Uh, the Last Door, season one. Oh, God, they're just showing me controls. All the controls. All right, so move cursor. Uh, Generic interaction. Oh, ignore that. Generic interaction. Move cursor. Okay. Let's play icon revealer. Generic interaction. Well, so you can Move click a lot for generic interaction. <laughs> yep. All right. I mean, it's a 2D game, so you'll pick it up pretty quick. After all the things I have seen. I don't know if you have to hit X or anything. I'm not sure. Okay, I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh. Reginald. Is that you? Can you move? You can move! Uh-oh. Well, I picked up rope. You picked up rope. I think it'll change to a hand icon if you can actually do something. Yeah, that makes sense. After all the things I have done... What did you do? What did you see? I'm sure the game will tell us. I'm thinking this isn't gonna go well for Reginald. Probably not. It never does. It never goes well for Reggie. My name is Reginald, Sir Duke of Regington. I think you have to touch the chair again. Oh, just keep touching it until... Maybe the banisters? Can you walk over to the chair? What about the banisters at the root, like the ceiling up top? Oh. You can't reach that. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. Why, David? Oh, God. Well, this is... What are you about to do, Reggie? What are you about to do? Nothing great. I am beyond redemption. Reggie? Don't do it. I barely have known you. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Reggie. Oh. Uh. I know it's about to. We know we all know it's about to happen, guys. Yeah, and they're making me have to actually. Uh... Oh, his name is Anthony. Yours sincere, sincerely, Anthony Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Beechworth. Reginald Beechworth, the third. <laughs> oh God. Well, that was. A oh, quick... strong thump. That was a quick game. All right. Well, that was fun. So, what's next? The actual game. <laughs> oh no. 
da 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 It's not often you see like a pixelated cutscene. Nope. I mean, you can just feel- you already get the feeling of what type of game this is gonna be from the score. It's such a good score so far. Yeah. I mean, the music and making a man hang himself. Well, that's not part game. of the score. No, I'm just saying. To open the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're definitely getting a feel as to what you're getting into with The Last Door. The Last Door. Caca! <laughs> hey, David. October 1891. The sound of rain and slow piano music fills the room. Generic interaction press. Videte ne quisiat. Caca. Yeah, we'll stick It's Latin for caca, David. So, yeah, it's a point-and-click game, as you can tell. Oh, I gotta actually go through the... Uh... Oh. That was all my childhood friend, Anthony Reginald Beechworth III, had written in his letter. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. Caca. <laughs> it was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we... <laughs> Could you imagine if the science and philosophy group were just like... We're philosophers! <laughs> Caca! <laughs> Everywhere they go, just... <laughs> I think, therefore, Caca! <laughs> that we had secretly run as students. You had to run a science and philosophy group in secret? Well, this is the 1800s. That's true. Back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. Oh, I guess it's time for my bad Scottish accent. Oh, God. But we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. The letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Yeah, he, he hung himself. Caca! <laughs> Oliver, are you licking the cable? He is. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. For my ancestors, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> For the sake of them. To be fair, he said the school was in Scotland. Never said that they were Scottish. Without delay, <laughs> I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. The more I do it, the slightly better it gets. <laughs> and there it was. The old house Anthony Reginald Beechworth's family. The Beechworth Manor. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Signing off. Caca! Caca! <laughs> Wind and crows. Caca! <laughs> David, caca. Caca! Caca! <laughs> Season one, episode one. The letter. Caca! <laughs> uh oh. I got a magnifying glass. Ooh. Yep, so you can investigate with that with your magnifying glass. Okay, okay. Oh, I guess they just want me to go to the door. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. I'm sure it's not weird that the door is just wide open. This is strange! <laughs> Everything is silent, as if there was no one living here. And yet the door was wide open. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find. Well, he's in the attic. <laughs> We already know. <laughs> Removing coat. Yeah, you just let yourself into the man's house and removed your Intriguing coat. Intriguing music. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to... Well, call your friend ass ugly. Damn. I know. Fucking rude. Like, that's kind of the way life works. You get old. It happens, man. I'm almost 30. David is 30. Thanks. <laughs> In 10 years, David, we'll be 40. Thanks. A note on the table. Oh, God. Uh, do you want to be Mr. and Mrs. Brewer? Sure. <laughs> it, oh, it's bo it's from both of them. We should read it together. All right. One, two, th you be Mr., I'll be Mrs. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Dear, Dear Mr. Mr. <laughs> Beechworth, <laughs> do 
due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us. And, and much to our regret, we have no, no other, other choice, choice but to, to leave. leave my house. I mean, the house. What? <laughs> anyway. We, we will we'll remain, remain forever grateful, grateful for, for all these years in your, your service. service. God, God bless you. Mr. And Brewer. And Mrs. Formerly Mr. Brewer. Nope. <laughs> We're not doing this in the letter. <laughs> oh, God. My coat. Yes. I don't actually... What's her name? <laughs> a grandfather clock. It is the only sound around here. No. There's, there's also wind and ravens. I don't think they've told us our name yet. Yeah, I don't think they have. Alright. Let's... As the ominous piano music keeps going. Oh, yeah. Darkness. <laughs> Unsettling music. <laughs> The closed captioning really adds that extra layer. Like, if you weren't sure it was unsettling, you know now. I can't see. It's unsettling. Oh, that's closed door. Cool. Maybe I'll go back the other way. I mean, that's probably a good idea. I think you have to actually physically move. There we go. Yeah, it's like both point and click, yet not. I mean, look at our chicken legs. Look, it, we are so fit. I know, it's more of that wind. Okay, okay, we got a nicely lit room. A cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There is also a matchbox. Oh, we should take the matchbox. Oh, okay. These matches could prove to be useful. A machine that plays recorded music. I didn't know that. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions. I mean, Anthony's pretty popular. Getting feeling you didn't know a lot about your uh, friend here. I mean, it was the 1800s. I feel like you called every acquaintance a friend, and you didn't really have, like... Yeah. Like, friend, friend? Because you didn't... I mean, think about it. They went to school together, and it's like, my old friend Anthony. I've missed him over the years. It's been 20. He couldn't have changed that much in two decades. Yeah, it's not really a case of, like, that guy I know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's one of the big things with, like, Facebook and social media nowadays. Like, like we had our high school reunion a couple years ago, our 10-year, and nobody went. But the main reason we were like, let's not go is because, well, with Facebook, we already know what everybody's doing. Yeah. You know, 10 years ago, your high school reunion was like, oh, I haven't seen these guys in 10 years. We, What are they doing with their lives? Yeah. We have no idea. Now you know. It's at the click of a button. It's like, now I know way too much about half of y'all. Ah, way too much. Way too much. Another wide open, uh... Anthony, you really need to close your doors and windows. Doesn't the little hand cursor look like he's flicking you off every time? It's like, let's go in this room. It really Fuck does. Fuck off! <laughs> Just a little bit. A seascape. There is a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. I'm sure that's not hinting at anything. No, most definitely not. A rainy mountain landscape. Dun 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 dun. Wow. This portrait is crooked. Can we fix it? Not even gonna. We can! Friction! It still looks crooked though. Maybe. Oh! Oh god. I didn't do it! An old rosary. A cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. Well, we should probably take that. I think that's the game definitely of going, you're gonna need this. This painting depicts a deep and dark forest. What? No. No, Anthony, no, you really, no. You really got some interesting choice of decorations. All right, uh, do we start with the left or the right? Just keep going right, keep going right. All right, all right, I mean, where are you? Oh god, there's another door. Damn it! So many doors, Anthony! I mean, it's a manor, David. Yeah, but it didn't look that big on the outside. Yeah, it was actually pretty big. Alright. I know I know it can't be as big as our Minecraft mansion, but... Yeah. How do you know? You're standing across the room. How do you know there's nothing of interest in there? What's on top? Is there a bottle on top? Oh, a lamp. lamp to light the way. Yeah, let's take that. I wonder if it has oil in it, because you could probably use that to go down the dark hallway. Let's hope so. An empty bowl. 
Like the ones used to feed pets. Anthony, you didn't say you had pets. I mean, everybody's got a couple of pets, right? Not everybody. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. Oh, there's more. May 18th. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. Why? What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. <laughs> he is growing more and more unlike himself every day. Don't trust Alfie. September 15th. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Wow. What's that hole next to the dresser? That little black spot? Oh. Maybe if we have the lantern lit up, we can see inside the hole. Uh, I think you have to click the lantern and the matches. And now you have a lit lantern. Yay! But only one match. Okay, apparently not. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe we need to... Oh, maybe there's like a rat or something in there that we need to lure out with food. Mm. All right. We'll go to the next room. The next room! Hopefully my lamp doesn't go out. I don't think it will. Oh. Alright, so that's locked. We need the key. Okay. So we'll go to the next room. Unless it's also locked. Nope, that one's open. Alright, what's inside? Oh, it's the kitchen. Okay. Anthony, I'm going to get something to eat, and then I'm totally going to find you. Plates and pans. Plates and pans. <laughs> boots and pants. And boots and pants. And boots and pants. And plates and pans. The kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. Boots and pants. And boots and pants. <laughs> the kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. A variety of herbs and ingredients. Boots and pants. And boots and pants. Anything on the table? A uh, plate of some day-old leftovers. Right, only, only a day-old. Is that a knife next to it? Oh, uh, you can't do anything with it, though? Nope. It's a little disappointing. Uh, there's a door. Can we open that door? Yeah. Well, unless it's locked. Yeah. Which is good, because that means we know where we don't have to go. Oh, you unlatched it. Oh. We go outside. Um. Oh, no! Are they eating Alfie? A murder of crows is eating eagerly. There are so many birds, I cannot see their prey from here. They're eating something. What's in the garbage cans? A garbage bin. Judging by the foul odor, I would say it has not been emptied in a fortnight. What is a fortnight? Other than, you know, an, an apparent internet sensation. Uh, I forget the exact amount of days. Cause I think it's more than a week. Like ten days? I think. Ten days sounds about right. Uh, fourteen nights, two weeks. Okay. So a fortnight, because it's it's old English. So. Yeah, it's it's essentially the shortened down version of old English for fourteen nights. So it's a fortnight. So in two weeks. Makes sense. All right. Well, let's see what this dark. Uh... Paul has in store for us. Oh, he just automatically uh, equipped the lantern. Nice. Perfect. All right. This isn't creepy at all. No, not at all. So that door was closed and locked. Yep. Kaka. Kaka. Anthony. We got a missing painting. Marco. Some square areas on the wall are visibly cleaner. It looks like some of the paintings are missing. And a boarded up, uh... Yep, the doorway's been boarded up. That's fun. 
Yep, that doesn't suggest oh. anything. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry, everybody. Anything's out of uh, the ordinary. There's so there's a door at the end of the hallway and a door there. All right. Well, we'll start with the first one. Nope, it opened. I just like to imagine that the little cursor is flicking you off, but it's flicking off the darkness. Like, yeah. fuck off, darkness. A silver key. That'll work for many of the rooms we've found, probably. A double bed. From the accumulated dust, I would guess that it has not been slept in for a very long time. In a fortnight? Possibly. Maybe. Which is a shame. They got such a nice view. I'm going to start using that. That's such an interesting term now. Yeah. Oh, when was the last time you left the house during quarantine? Oh, it's been like three fortnights. As people look at you like... Because most people will just hear that now and think of the video game and that'll be the end of it. And it's like, no. That's true. People would think of the video game. I said a fortnight, not a fortnight. Yeah, a fortnight, not... A fortnight, not fortnight. It's just like if you went around like telling, like, how like how far the trip is it? It's like, oh, this many leagues. It's like, so that's actually interesting. So I looked up what a league was because um, I started playing Bioshock again, and it shows you like how many fathoms you're under as you mm -hmm. go down. And I was like, what's a league? Because I was curious, you know, uh, uh. You know, Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, it's one of those, you know, you see it used a lot, but... So a nautical league is 3.45 miles, right? Mm -hmm. So 2,000, is it 2,000 or 20,000? I've got Google open, I'll look. Jules Verne... It's 20,000 leagues. Yeah, it's quite the, uh, quite the distance. <laughs> Which is just over 69,000 miles. Ooh, okay. Hear me out, David. The diameter of the Earth <laughs> is only... 7,900, so just shy of 8,000 miles. So 20,000 leagues under the sea does not exist. No, 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 no. So I need, I, I've, I've never actually read 20,000 leagues under the sea. I kind of want to now hmm. because in my head, the, ga the, the book canon is that uh, it's Captain Nemo, right? Captain Nemo and his crew find a portal <laughs> that they don't see like it's just one of those things and they're in another dimension so the giant evil kraken squid that they find is actually like from the water plane well this is a lovely change of scenery i think this is a slate disc res record the sleeve reads the carnival of venice sure i'll take it what else am I going to do down in this creepy uh, underbelly? A slightly rusted iron crowbar. Ooh, just getting all the stuff down here. Just waiting for something to jump out and try to eat my face. I mean, why is it delicious? Small pile of firewood, twigs, and chunks of dry bark. The boiler looks like it has been out of use for a long time. Well, can I put some of these? No. <clears throat> Fine. Oh, well, you do have the crowbar, though, so you can go pull the boards off that yep. one room. I didn't miss that while I was looking up 20,000 leagues, did I? No. All I did was come back and open that door that was okay. uh, locked. Cool, cool, cool. Which brought me here. All right, let's go back upstairs. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. All right. This door. Now all the way back across the house. I think if you get the hand over to it, you can fast travel if you double click it. Ah, that's what that. Yeah, it's like a fast forward. 
I was wondering what that was. That makes a lot more sense. And it makes it much easier to traverse. Yeah. Because it's the little things like that that make this a quality of life, like... Yeah, because, like, this whole, uh... Walking back and forth across the house gets old after a while if you have to keep, uh... <laughs> keep doing it, yeah. Anthony, I'm sure you boarded this up for a good reason, but, uh... Oh my god, what has happened here? Leave me alone, the wall says, covered in blood. Alright, bye. I'm just gonna go... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go home, Anthony. You're clearly fine. <laughs> the lifeless body of a woman. It has been here for a few days. There's a bo Oh, there is a body. So she's... The white part is her head. Yeah. I thought it was sheets. Looks like she is clutching a note in her hand. Well then, grab it. I am writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger, with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells in our souls. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. Kakal. It's a hairpin. Sure. Maybe you can use that for, like, a lockpick or something. Yes, because everybody's always a master lockpicker. It's a letter! Dear Margaret, it's God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper, angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed, and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Regina Beechworth. <laughs> the fourth. Uh, the writing on the walls reads, Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Who would have written such a thing? I know. Like, you would have to get, like, a ladder and... That's a lot of work. It also took either a lot of paint or a lot of blood. Yep. Just with the amount it's, like, dripped down the walls. Yeah. Like... Oh, that's a door on the other side of the room. Yep. Just a wide open hole. Nothing of interest. What about the other two paper balls on the wall? Or on the floor? Ooh. Yep. The diary page. Okay. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I am not worthy of this family. But who are they but bust, but Bustin Dones? <laughs> a doomery. A memory. <laughs> Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Okay, okay. C -c <laughs> <laughs> a letter in a feeble handwriting. Here you go, David. I cannot go on. All is lost. Well, all right. Guess we can tell which one he wrote last. <laughs> yeah. All and right. then progressed nicely from right to left as we I go right across How nice the room. You, Anthony. All right, Anthony, I'm coming in. I know you said leave you alone, but... Hey, well, look, portraits. This isn't creepy. <clears throat> Excuse me. A woman of strong features and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. The young Anthony, just like I remember him. So young, so attractive. Not like the old man that was in that portrait downstairs. She looks like the woman on the bed. She is holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is marred by a severe, unsettling gaze. This young woman not yet in her twenties, stares defiantly back at me. A woman with blonde hair, a man with blonde hair, 
I feel as if I've seen him before. Cross for this one. A portrait of Anthony, standing beside a mounted wildcat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. There is a big raven perched outside the window, tapping on the glass with its beak. Maybe you can use the, the, the hairpin to cut the painting? The one that has the thing around the, the painted head, the one you had to walk to. Oh. I mean, no. But maybe when we get a knife or something, because it's like the paint looks uh, fresh yeah, around the head. Yeah, that's good call. Good call. What about the one on the ground? No? What Can't about the other one? To, uh, no. All and right. So to, there's yeah. nothing in here yet that we can see. No. Nope. Yeah. So clearly got to be something to interact with that painting. Right. All right. So yeah, I think it's a case of going and probably lock picking something. Well, actually, I do also have a... Is that... Oh, got... a record. Oh, in the bedroom. Yeah, let's go in there. Yeah, before I uh, open any more doors. I always gotta love how people, you know... Uh, where was the record player? Uh, one of the bedrooms. Was it in the dark side of the house, or...? I don't recall. got to be on the uh, other side. Uh, so yeah. there's, by the way, there's, so there's four episodes to each season, and they started coming out in 2013 right. and finished in 2016. It took three years to develop the whole game. But yeah, you gotta like when, uh... Our name is Jeremiah DeWitt. Nice. By the way. People always... No, 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 can't talk. Oh, boy. Uh, people always come, like, looking for things, and then things start to get creepy or clearly something went down and instead of going and getting like the cops or uh, anything else, I'm just going to keep exploring all this by myself nobody knowing I'm here <laughs> yeah alright play this music so fun fact this game was also funded by Kickstarter nice. just like Blasphemous was Ugh, this awful music I don't like it I don't like it what if we play it backwards? Way to put a record on and not know how to stop. I don't know if I need to just wait for it to... <laughs> cough, 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 cough. <laughs> like, I don't know if I need to wait for it to finish or if it's just gonna... I have no idea. Can you touch it again? It just says he doesn't know how to make it stop. To hurt my soul. Right. Uh, I guess leave the room. Yeah. Let's get out of this hellhole. <gasps> the music has abruptly stopped. All right. Oh. Oh, sweet Jesus! Horror sound. <laughs> I like it. I'm sorry to have disturbed y'all. <laughs> That's it, David? That's it? This is how you're going to leave it? You're just going to leave it like that? Fine. I will walk at him. Can you touch the record? Nope. Maybe go open the drapes. No? Oh, they turn with you, too. Yep. No, doesn't seem to be... What if we go in the, the door? Don't mind me, just cutting through. How the hell did y'all get in here? Probably through one of the many open windows. Alright, so yeah, no, I have no idea. Yeah. So right. where were we gonna go? Uh, see if I can lockpick... The other closed door? Yeah. Because there's one that's locked from the other side, and there's one that's just stuck. So I figure, see if I can lockpick the one from... Oh, we could probably explore outside, too. That is true. I didn't actually, uh do that since I just kind of came straight inside. Oh, the crows have left the thing. Yay! Because they're all inside now. 
There is a dying crow lying amidst a puddle of blood. Oh, so they were just eating another... Oh. Sure, we'll take the dead crow. Yeah, that's normal. Maybe we put it in the, the yeah, food bowl the... for the... Whatever's in the, the hole. That's totally a... Uh... When oh, that I, poor birdie. When I see a dead crow, I'm just like, I'm, yep, I'm bringing this with me. Okay, so now the hole was... Uh, in one of the first bedrooms. I think it was in this hallway. Was it that bedroom? It's gotta be, because, yeah, that takes me back out to the main room. So it's either this one or... Because it was in the first hallway we really explored. Yeah. Yep. See if you can... Put the dying crow there, I guess. Damn it. Yep, this is a normal thing people do. I guess I have to walk back out. I guess? Oh, I feel bad, it's dying. Oh, are we able to put it out of its misery? Maybe we can pick the crow back up. Maybe that's not where we're supposed to take it. No. No? Because it wanted to let me put it down. If that's it, uh... true. I guess just walk away. Yeah. Maybe I'll hear sounds as I, uh... As you progress. Alright, I'm walking away. I'm walking back out here. Crows are all gone. Oh, you can touch the record player again. Yay. I would better leave it alone. Probably probably for the best. You caused awful music to play and a bunch of crows to come inside. Can you mess with the grandfather clock? It keeps pointing at it. No, just... no I guess not. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I'll go try to pick that lock and then we can come back and see if... Uh... Yeah, see if the crow is gone. Yeah, I guess give time for whatever. What, was that the locked door? No, this one's stuck. Okay. I'm just waiting for this camera to pan one time and there'd be something like. In the darkness? Yeah. Yeah, alright, so let's see. Are you a master lockpick? Oh. Okay. Alright, I guess not. Um. I'm trying to think. There's got to be a place for the rosary and for the hairpin. Yeah. Because they're the only two items we have. Yep. The fireplace? It's black with soot. Yeah, at this point, it's one of those games where we're now just going to have to click on everything. Because yeah. like, the only other interactable thing I remember seeing was the thing in the the painting in the room. Yeah. So that's one of the things we'll have to touch and see. Yeah, it's like something has to... Uh... Can you put the rosary on the dead woman? No, I guess not. Have you touched the wheelchair? Yeah, it just said something about uh, it being a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. And then this was just, yep. Maybe you can use the rosary? Yeah, I was like, let me try that just in case. Like, I don't know why, uh... But, sometimes they... Nope. Is there anything? There's nothing on the table. No, it's just this... Nothing on the window. No, the window is just the crow outside. That's true. And yeah, everything else is literally just these paintings. But you would think we could take one, because remember the hallway with the... 
Yeah. Everything just seems to be, uh... Huh. Alright. I guess I'm gonna visit all the rooms on the way back towards that, uh... Yeah, dish. we're smart. We can figure this out, right? I would hope so. It's probably, like, just something I need to pick up that I'm missing. It just says it's, yeah, it's stuck. Yeah, I won't force it open. All right, so this room, so that's a kind of dead end for now until we can actually do something. Um, wait, before you go outside, check the fireplace. Okay, check that, check that, check the window again. Nope. All right. To the dead crow, or dying crow, I guess. Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of other than if there's just something I need to pick up that I'm missing. But I feel like I've... Oh, can we pick up the knife now? No. Nope. Uh, the only other... Can you touch the painting that you moved, took down? Maybe we can put it back up on the wall? Oh, it's still dying. God. Oh! Put the rosary on the wall. Good catch. Because, yeah, I did not notice that. Oh, did that not do anything? Apparently not. Can we open the window? I guess not. Oh crap. Yeah, so that was the whole yeah, thing the... about the religious items. Huh. Okay. And then this was. I don't remember. This, oh uh, yeah, the creepy downstairs. Right, so maybe there's something we missed here in the basement. The main thing down here was the uh, boiler that I couldn't seem to do anything with. Did you have the hairpin then? I feel like I did, but I didn't actually... Uh... Can you do the lantern on it? No? I have no idea. I, I really don't, because we've gone upstairs, we've explored all the rooms. It's gonna be something so simple. Check that pot. No. It's gotta be outside. We should go outside. It's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing that's really different. Yeah, I didn't see anything else to interact with out here. Well, I mean, that's... Yeah, you got the trash can. What about the... Whoa! There's no crows, but okay. I guess they're up in the trees. Uh, what about the other side of the house? To the left. No? No. I have no idea. What's that white thing on the table? Oh, that's right, the brewers. Yep. The only other thing was there was a white thing in the kitchen, but I don't think we were able to interact with it. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot in the kitchen. 
It's gonna be something stupid, and I refuse to look it up because I know it's gonna be something stupid. Yep. All right, well, we will be back, everybody. Uh, jump cut to when we figure it out. All right. Hey, everybody. We uh, found out that this window is locked and can be unlocked with a small tool. Like we said, something stupid. Something stupid. Still don't so see now how... you should be able to go outside, I think. It's a balcony. Ah. I was like... Oh! Oh, this is the other locked room, I think. Ah, okay, so it led us all the way around. Okay, oh, and there's a, a ladder. A lynx, mounted and stuffed. This is a fine work of taxidermy. Some sort of spilled chemical product. It smells strongly of vinegar. A few press cuttings pinned to the wall. The Illustrated London News, 1887. Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found dead floating in the Thames. The Times, 1889. Famous actor found bled to death in his hotel room. That's cheery. Yeah. Sure that's not hinting at anything. A few handwritten notes. That goddamn cat! Sorry, Oliver, don't take this personally. It's about the game, not you. <laughs> that goddamn cat, he meows every night. You're actually a very quiet cat. You don't meow. It is for me. I know it. He is mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows I will not let him ruin everything. I do not have any choice. I will have to put an end to his miserable life. Or better yet, I will blind him. You Gabby Gabby Lynx. You will not confess. No, not you. Oh. Well, well, I guess we found out what happened to the cat. Yep. He uh, got his way with the cat. He had a paint thinner. Oh, you can pick it up. You can... Oh, because we can use it on the thing with the paint in the attic. Nice. Uh, check the table real quick. I think there's a hammer. Yeah, I was just uh, unlocking that door. We'll pick up the common hammer. I feel like that's going to be locked, but you can, we can go see first. Yeah. There's no way they're just going to let us go up there. There's a trap door with a keyhole reinforced with gold, so we'll need a gold key, I imagine. Yeah. All right, all right. But hey, we got paint thinner, we got a hammer. We're figuring it out, David. We're getting there. Yep. We still got the cross. Oh, that brought us over here. Okay, so yeah. So that was the locked door. Oh, you might be able to use the hammer for the, the one that doesn't budge. Nope, nope. Wrong, 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 wrong. This one. So the can of paint thinner on the freshly painted thing. Yeah. I cannot pour the thinner directly onto the canvas. It would remove every layer of paint, the fresh image, as well as whatever originally lay beneath. All right, so we need like a rag or something. But at least we have the hammer, and I think we can use it on the door. Yeah. There was a cleaning cloth. There was? Yeah. In the kitchen? I don't know if... It's something I can actually pick up because it just said there's like dishes and a cleaning cloth. Well, I'll try the hammer on the door first, and if not, we'll go to the kitchen. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of as far as a. Nope. Alright. As far as a, some kind of rag goes. Kitchen. Gotta go to the kitchen. Go, go, go to the... Oh, God. While you're in this hallway, see if we can kill the bird with the hammer. Oh. I think... If that's the reason we need the hammer, we're just as fucked up as Anthony. Nope. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here. Sorry, bird. Just keep on dying for eternity. 
because we're a dick. And we'll just let you suffer. So back upstairs to the room. Yeah, unfortunately, the dark hallway, he can't see the doors. Yep. Because it's only a matter of time before they do uh... a jump scare on you. Yep. You. I dampened the cloth with paint thinner. Don't mind me, Raven. Just gonna wipe away this painting. The thinner has worked. The fresh paint is gone, and now I can see the original painting. The lynx's mouth is open, as if it were growling. I'm so glad I did that. Maybe we have to use the hammer on the links in the office. Good call, good call. Because if not, we're kind of at a dead end again. <laughs> that seems weird to have the, uh, huh? Well, there you go. Well, I have the solution in the same room, but I'll take it. I would hate to damage this fine piece of... See if we can go up into the attic. We didn't actually try. Yeah, it just said there was a keyhole. Oh, All right, no. All right so yeah, go. I need to find a key. Yeah. All right. right. So now we're back to finding something that needs a hammer and something that needs a cross. So let's think. Where are we... Try the cross on the links. We could always try the hammer on the painting. I mean, I know he'll probably say, I'd hate to damage this artwork. Yeah, you know he will, since he wanted even a... Uh... But hey, it's worth a shot. Oh, I think I remember where the hammer goes, but do try this first. I think we have to go to the boiler room. Yeah, that was the only thing I was thinking of as far as... Uh... Yeah. Uh, if I recall, I think there's some bricks we can knock out with the... Yeah. Because that's like the only area where there's clearly something we need to do. We just haven't been able to. I'm going to laugh when we go through all this. Like, all this creepiness and the end. It's like, nope, the guy just committed suicide. The end. Yeah. There's more afoot here than there would seem. It's like, nope, nope, he just, he just killed himself. Rituals of evil satanic creatures. Don't be silly. Hey, creepy boiler room. Don't jump out at me. Yeah, I think it's that. No? Yeah, can't interact with it. Maybe try the boiler. Maybe you can uh, break up the branches. That's what an axe is for. <laughs> nope. Huh. Hmm. All right. Well, we're at a loss again. It only took eight minutes. Yep, that's the way these games go. Back to looking for something else that needs a hammer or a cross. Maybe you can use the hammer on the, the hole in the wall. Good call. Bust it open more. Maybe whatever is... Uh... Or not. Nope. Um. Sure, just keep opening all the windows. I wonder if you can use the hammer to break the window that the crow is tapping at. Oh, wait. Should we go to the water basin? So we need a cord... Oh, try the rosary on the window. All right, all right. Unexpected way to need the cross, but I'll take it. I don't know if maybe now I need to walk away. I was wondering if you could break the mirror with the hammer. I don't know. Maybe now that there's fresh air, I need to walk away. And uh... Yeah, well, at least we figured out what to do with the rosary. Yeah, because that was the longest... Uh... 
Can you break the frame with a hammer? Nope. Nope. Ooh. Maybe we need to go outside now that it's, now that it's open. We can see one of the windows. Nope, still angry crows. What about on the other side? No, nothing. Nope. Well, maybe we like like we were saying. Maybe we can try bust it. Try bust the grandfather clock. Fucking hit the hammer on everything. Um, painting room, maybe? And we can bust the window open? Because we can't get into there. We have to move the painting. Yeah, but no, I won't let you. Maybe we can hit that spot on the wall in the hallway with the hammer, the one where the painting used to be. It's right there, right? Nope. And we can't bust the door in. Nope. I tried that, and it just. Alright, there's gotta be something, again, obvious we've missed. Yep. I'm wondering if it's in his office area. Oh! I was uh, gonna try to visit the, uh... Oh, it's the cat! Where do you think the crow went? <laughs> Where did the crow go? If only this trail of blood was of any use. Can I smash it open? Nope. Maybe we need to close the window now? No? Okay. Well, I mean, that progressed that, but now I still don't know... Uh... So there's nothing we can do with the blood on the floor. Maybe go in that room. Yeah, back downstairs. Yeah. Oh, the cat came into here. Okay. Yay. Yay, creepy boiler room. Just why I wanted to come in contact with a creepy cat sound. No, don't. I want to. Oh, now I can. Uh... In that. Yeah, all right. Uh... Now we can bust it out with the hammer. Okay. I just had to wait for a reason to do so. A black cat is staring at me. But wait, its eyes are missing. Okay, so the other cat was not the cat. This is legitimately... So, but he legitimately took out its eyes. No, poor kitty. Good Lord, it almost ripped my eyes out. It has run away from the dark. So yeah, there's a lot of Edgar Allan Poe things here. Because remember, yeah. there's the story of the black cat. And then there's the... Um, so there's the story of the black cat. There's, of course, the raven. I think the black cat was Poe. Okay. Well, we got a knife. Apparently the robe and the mask are not considered useful. Yes, The Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe. So, knife. I think we can use that to pry open the lynx's, the, the taxidermy. Because remember, he didn't want to damage it. Yes, he wants to preserve it. <laughs> Even though he's snooping around this man's house. and uh... Yeah, like, at this point, I would have called the cops. Like, I've found a dead body. Yeah. 
I found a dead body and no one is, is else is around to be seen. I'm a like, bunch of I'm getting in a carriage and I'm going to find the local authorities. A bunch of notes suggesting some uh something was off. Some foul play. A cat that had its eyes gouged out. A bunch of crows like you don't just keep calmly walking around the house like it's just perfectly normal. All right, what's inside this cat? There's a golden key, David. Well, I wonder where that could go. All right. Here we go. All right. What's up in the attic? Oh. Oh, God, no. Anthony, no! I totally thought you were still alive. Who am I going to caca with now? But first, let me investigate this painting. A portrait of a woman. Anthony's wife, perhaps? She looks very happy here. Unlike downstairs, where she's dead. Yeah, we probably need to cut him down. Yeah. I was just saying if there's anything else before we, uh... If only I still had a knife. The lifeless body of my dear friend. What madness could have led him to commit such an act? There is something in his pocket. Oh. <laughs> it's a sealed letter. Well, you're dead, friend, so I'm just going to read your mail. Dear J. DeVitt, If you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. Unfortunate accidents, if you would. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I cannot give you any more details at this time. I must... When are you going to give them to us? <laughs> I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all swore on our honor that sentence that would protect us. This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours too are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, Devitt. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Reginald Beechworth the Third. Kaka. Fuck it, balls. Oh God. Oh Jesus. As as Jeremiah just watches the whole time. Oh, in horror. He's watching in horror. Yeah. Okay. Oh God, they're consuming my friend. Well, it's a good thing nobody else found that. Uh. That body before we did. Uh, so the last door, the letter, was funded via Kickstarter. Uh, and the adventure continues in episode two, which we'll pick up uh, in the next episode. But before we do, I'm curious. Can you... That door was... There's one door we couldn't get in. Yeah. So there clearly had to have been something we missed that... Uh, so the last door... Ep1... Um, door? Alright, here's a walkthrough. Let me see. Prologue. So, Jeremiah, you gain control of Jeremiah. You go in. Go to the foyer. Check the archway. Da 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 da. da. So we did the servants' quarters, we did all that. Silver key. Used the silver key, got to the basement. You found the record. You found the crowbar. You used the record. You re entered the parlor. You got the crow. Hairpin, thinner, hammer. Uh, we 
got the rosary. We found the rosary really early on compared to this walkthrough. Da 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 da. Hammer. Cat. Parlor. Knife. And wet cloth. Lynx. Workshop. Key. Golden. No, I guess you just don't go in there. Alright. This is like that door in Bloodborne. <laughs> Locked, but there's no actual anything behind it. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, that was episode one. What do you think so far, David? It's interesting. Uh, I'm curious to see where they uh, take it with this whole... Uh... Yeah, it, it very much quickly goes down a rabbit hole. His dark and mysterious things that he got into that could put all of us in danger. Dun, dun, dun. Caca. Caca. Caca, everybody.